Hey, so I haven't taken on any real ambitious projects for a little while, so I thought it was time to uh, do something a little more challenging. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on Russian screw vehicles, uh, screw propulsion. I always thought those were pretty awesome and uh, that uh, pretty ridiculous as well, so it's right up my alley. So uh, I'm going to try and do a screw drive lawn tractor, garden tractor which eventually I'll probably put a uh, blade on, like a plow blade, and do some kind of bulldozer kind of thing. Uh, mainly just kind of a you know, proof of concept thing, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try and shoot the whole thing so you'll see my failures and success, and it should be a multi-part series, so hope you enjoy. My idea was that I'm gonna get a bunch of propane tanks, and I'm gonna basically skewer the tanks with this one inch round bar. And uh, that's how I'm going to make my screws for the drive. So I've got one of the uh, kind of screw sections got together here with propane tanks. As you can see, I've screwed through, uh, skewered through the tanks. Uh, I had to make this little tank because my shaft wasn't long enough. But uh, I'm not really liking it too much. I'm thinking that I'm going to abort this whole tank idea. But as you can see, when it's spinning, a uh, fair amount of wobble to it. Uh, and it's going to be a bitch to get that straight, so I'm not sure. I might just abort this whole thing and go to a piece of pipe. And then I can wrap my flighting or, around there for the screw. But uh, this is the first attempt with the propane tanks. But uh, not overly happy with that amount of wobble, especially since they got to spin fairly fast. And I'm having a hell of a time getting it all straight, so I think I'm probably going to abort this idea. Okay, so a little change of plan. The propane tanks did not work. So I went up and picked a couple pieces of used pipe up. I'm going to use these. They're a little smaller and a lot thicker. So I'm changing this project up. I think I'm actually going to adapt them to a lawn tractor now. So a screw drive tractor, kind of a miniature Fordson screw drive tractor. Uh, I'm just squaring up these pipes to cut the ends off. What I usually do is wrap a piece of paper around and uh, then I know if it's a nice square sheet of paper and I square it all up, it's kind of the best way to get a good round cut. So I'm going to cut two of these into two five foot sections. I'm going to cap the ends with propane tanks and I'm going to run my shaft through there. I'll give that a shot. Okay, so I've got my pipe cut five feet. Just use oxyacetylene torch. And I'm going to cap the ends with propane tank. Even though it's thinner, I thought it's kind of the dome shape would make it pretty strong. And what I've done is just drill a hole in one end of the tank and bore it out this a little bit so it fits on one inch shaft. And I just hold my plasma cutter on a jack stand and spin the tank. And that's how I'm cutting a nice disc out of it. So I'm just going to weld those to the ends of the piping shaft going through. And then I'll somehow figure out the flighting for that, which I don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay, so as you can see, I have the caps put on. Cut this one a little bit too big, but it should be fine. And cap on that end. And I got the hole drilled on the shaft. And actually looking pretty damn good for uh, straightness here. I'm pretty damn happy with that. So I'm uh, just going to finish welding these caps on. And that'll be one of two of the pods for the screws. So I still have to figure out how to do the screws, obviously and I'm gonna go drag an old lawn tractor out of the woods and we're gonna uh, try and put these on it and see where we can go from there. So here's the two finished uh, main uh, cylinders for the screws. Uh, pretty happy with the way they're spinning. A little bit of wobble on this one, but I mean, uh, I don't know, it's not too bad. So. Uh, that's phase one of the vehicle. Uh, next stage, I'm going to have to go out and grab that uh, garden tractor, bring that in. I'm going to mount these to it and start working on getting that all working so I can decide on the pitch of my screws, etc. Uh, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with my progress.